The objective of the U.S. Air Force preparations is that in the event of a conflict with a formidable foe such as China or Russia, its tanker and cargo aircraft will have to perform tasks beyond providing logistical assistance. Allies are already being taught by the U.S. military how to operate their cargo planes in a similar manner. Although many U.S. allies don't possess bombers, they do have cargo planes that can be used in place of bombers. Another possibility Japan is considering is to launch standoff missiles from its Kawasaki C-2 tactical transport aircraft. The goal is to strengthen Japan's defenses and capacity for counterattacks. A recent training exercise involved the loading and unloading of missile cradles from MC-130J and C-17 aircraft by the USAF Special Operations Task Group Central and Air Forces Central. Compared to bombers, C-17s and MC-130Js can operate from a wider range of airfields, and their capacity to launch long-range missiles will present more obstacles for the adversary. Pallets with real or simulated cruise missiles dropped from cargo planes have been the subject of numerous experiments by the USAF since early 2020 to determine their ability to deploy and hit a target. Air Mobility Command, which manages the cargo and tanker fleets for the service, is in charge of the Rapid Dragon project. With a range of roughly 600 miles, the Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile Extended Range Cruise Missile has been used thus far by the C-17. The aircraft can carry electronic warfare tools like jammers and sensors, so the idea extends beyond simply equipping the cargo fleet with offensive weapons. Traditionally, the MC-130J Commando II and C-17 Globemaster III have been used to strategically and quickly drop supplies and fuel by airdrop. Personnel can also be transported by the large aircraft. These transporters were the first used by the USAF because transforming them to bombers required less modification and training. The MC-130J has a range of 3,000 miles, can climb to 28,000 feet with a 42,000-pound payload. It can carry as much long-range weaponry as AB-52. Additionally, where a bomber cannot, it can land and operate from 3,000-foot highways and temporary landing zones. By comparison, the C-17 is a massive aircraft that can carry almost 171,000 pounds of cargo. It can airdrop over 100 paratroopers and their gear, as well as transport trucks, trailers, and armored cars. This jet can carry three times the long-range precision weapons of AB-52 bomber due to its size. The logistics of this modification are still being worked out by the USAF since these airlifters will have to operate off of more austere and remote airfields in order to evade Chinese attacks. The additional difficulty is that in order for these palletized weapons to function properly, they must be distributed and kept in storage. China, for its part, is aware of the program and is concerned that U.S. cargo planes carrying a lot of missiles could be difficult to track since they would be picking up pre-positioned palletized missiles during other missions and launching them from just outside a defensive perimeter. An article from China National Defense News was cited by a researcher at the USAF's China Aerospace Studies Institute, who stated, One can predict that once it is armed with palletized munitions, the agility of the U.S. military's distributed strategy for strike missions and the suddenness of those strikes will increase immensely. The Rapid Dragon is also viewed as cost-effective, since it is less expensive to drop weapons from cargo aircraft than it is to build new bombers, and militaries lacking bombers could easily equip their cargo planes with the capability. What do you think of the Rapid Dragon? Will it be more effective than bombers in the long run? Write your comment below. Thank you for watching. If you want to watch videos like this, click any one of the two videos featured before this video ends. Enjoy watching. This ends our video. See you in the next one.